In the meantime, non-governmental organization known as Electoral Hub, in collaboration with Open Society Foundation, OSF, and Initiative for the Research, Innovation, and Advocacy in Development, IRAD, has on Tuesday advocated for the right of citizens in electoral matters. The director, Princess Haman Obels, made this call during a roundtable and public presentation of three research policy papers on the impact of insecurity on elections in Abuja. She stated that the objectives of this roundtable include to launch the publicized or the published policy papers which analyzes the security situation in the country and its adverse impacts on the election, map the security challenges in different parts of the country and how they affect INEC preparations and public safety during and after the elections. The idea is to bring people together to discuss the important issue of um, electoral violence and insecurity. Like you've heard since you've been here that electoral violence and insecurity affects the integrity of an electoral process as it impacts on voters' ability to participate effectively in the process and also impacts on INEC's ability to effectively deliver elections and it also impacts on every different aspect of the electoral process to be able to work together in, um, in synergy and to deliver integrity at the end of the day. The Chairman House Committee on Electoral Matters, Honorable Adebayo Balogun, while addressing the press on this matter, said that the legislative arm um, is making every effort to put an end to election violence and they have proposed a bill for it. The formal, the formal Independent Electoral Commission, INEC Professor Tahiru Jega, also expressed concern over the matter, adding that INEC hands are on deck. We are pushing up for a bill for the establishment of the Electoral Offenses Commission and Tribunal. That will not be able to focus on issues that have got to do with violence and uh, vote buying and any act of offenses that happens during the election, during, before or after the election, but that can influence the, uh, the election. So we are working on that uh, bill. So that is very important because we believe that INEC is being uh, overburdened with so much responsibilities. I know that INEC has been doing its best, uh, but uh, for many citizens it would appear as if their best is not good enough. So what they need to do is to keep on trying and doing their best to be more inclusive, to develop capacity for strategic communication, and uh, to, to uh, really work extra hard in order to gain trust and confidence from the public. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.